If you're a student, a business owner, an entrepreneur, or anybody that just wants to be successful, you need a mentor. It's not that you want a mentor, but you actually need one. And today I'm going to talk to you about the seven reasons why every single person on this planet should have a mentor. So without further ado, let's roll into it. Hey, I'm Adrian Boysell, and welcome back to another Adrian Graphics and Marketing video. Before we get started, I'm gonna tell you a little story, but first, I wanna ask you to please share this video with a friend, with somebody you care about, with somebody you love, because today, I'm gonna to share some gold nuggets that are gonna really help people. So I wanna tell you guys a funny story. As a kid, I grew up in a household where we didn't really get to do a whole lot of outdoor stuff. I did a lot of biking and a lot of outdoor sports, but I didn't do a lot of camping and fishing and outdoor stuff like that. And it was something that I really had a passion for. So when I became an adult, it was something I took a major interest in from my 18s into my early 20s. My dad wasn't much of a camping and fishing guy, so I had to learn how to do it myself. I didn't have any mentors, I didn't have any guides, and I didn't have anybody to lead me down a road to prevent me from getting into some of the trouble and some of the dangers that come with doing stuff outdoors. So when I was in my early 20s, I got together with my cousins who were like my brothers, and we decided to go on a camping trip. The bad part was, is we went on a camping trip late at night and we decided to leave at about six or seven o'clock in the evening. And we naively thought that we was only gonna take us about 45 minutes to get to where we were going. Well, along the way, we ended up stopping at a few places, had to get more gas, had some things that just happened as part of the journey. And when we ended up getting to our place where we were gonna go camping, it ended up being nighttime. And so we grabbed all of our stuff and we realized that we were gonna have to trek through the woods about a mile and a half to our camping spot in the dark. Thankfully, we had some flashlights. We were smart enough to bring flashlights, but what we were walking into, we had no idea what we were doing. And if we had had a mentor, if we had had a guide and somebody to lead us along the way, we could have avoided some of the dangers and some of the paranoia and some of the fears that we developed while going on this camping trip. It was no fun. And we started walking through the woods, down towards the water, but it was pitch black. And even with flashlights, we couldn't really see ahead of us very well. And so we were walking back and forth across the woods, trying to find our way down to the water. And after about two hours of wandering, we finally decided to give up, let all of our, our camping supplies down off of our backs and lay out our sleeping bags and just call it a night. And by this time, it was like two or three in the morning. And throughout those two to three hours, we were freaking out, walking across streams, walking across woods and constantly having to look over our shoulder, worried about being eaten by a bear or by a mountain lion or by bitten by a snake that we didn't see in the middle of the night or something even crazier crawling into our sleeping bags. We were freaked out all night. I remember having my 45 on one side and my 40 on the other, just cocked and locked and loaded and ready to shoot at any wild animal that tried to take me out. And so it was a lot of fear, a lot of paranoia, and there was a lot of danger in what we were doing. And we were in our early 20s and it came from a lack of experience. And like I said, if I had had a mentor, I would have been able to get there to the water beforehand and earlier in the day with the right supplies and with the right things in place that could have avoided a lot of the pitfalls that we went through on that camping trip. And that camping trip just overall was a nightmare between running out of water on the second day and a lot of other things that happened along that journey. There was a lot of things that if we had had an adult that was older than us, somebody that was more experienced, that wasn't just being wild and crazy, they could have led us and we could have had a much better camping trip. Now, don't get me wrong. I learned a lot of lessons and it was a lot of fun, but I could have gotten to the destination that I wanted to a lot quicker. So there are seven reasons why you need a mentor and they all relate to my story of going camping. So number one, and the reason why you need a mentor is danger. There are a lot of dangers out there that you can prevent and you can keep yourself from falling into. Similar to me being eaten by a bear in the middle of the woods at night, like I thought it was gonna happen. There are businesses that you need to stay away from. There are people that you need to stay away from. There are mistakes that you need to avoid. There are tax liabilities. There's all kinds of dangers in business and a mentor is gonna help you avoid those dangers and help you keep yourself out of trouble and keep you from losing your business, losing your reputation and losing your passion and your dream. That is something that I want to protect you from. And that's why you need a mentor. Number two is direction. We could have avoided wandering through the woods and being lost 
and being scared all night long until like four or five in the morning thinking we were gonna be eaten by something if we had just had somebody to give us direction. And so in your business, as much as you think you have it all figured out, you can get to your destination a lot quicker and there are a lot of people out there that have experience that have been through this before, like my mentor, Larry, they can help you take shortcuts. And it's not about taking shortcuts through life, but it's about taking shortcuts and avoiding some of the dangers. And it's going to help you get to your destination quicker and help you get and keep you in the right direction. That's what a mentor is going to be really good at doing is helping you stay in the right direction and not help you go off a random path like we did in the middle of the night, crossing over a big log and and actually potentially falling into the water, which almost happened to us that night. Now, number three is compassion. A mentor is going to show you compassion. They're going to understand your background. They're going to understand the type of person you are. They're going to understand your strengths. They're going to understand your weaknesses and they're going to be for you. They're going to be there for you in all of the areas of your life and business that you may not be strong in. They're going to help you point you in the right direction, avoid the dangers, and they're going to show you compassion. They're going to genuinely care about you. All right. And number four is validation. Like a guide, when you're going through the woods, if you have a great guide, they're going to understand and have experience in the areas that are wins for you. And they're going to be able to validate you when you're crossing over the right path. It's not just about the bad paths and making the mistakes, but it's about showing you the right path, giving you the right direction, and then giving you validation when you're making those wins, when you're having that success, when you're doing things the right way, they will validate those wins. Now, number five is they're the advocate. The fact that you have somebody that's willing to come along with you on your journey through the woods, through the dark and help you along that. And when those scary parts are coming, they're coming alongside with you as your advocate. They're taking risk going out in the woods in the middle of the night is probably not a smart move for somebody who's in their early twenties with very little experience. But if you have an advocate, they're going to teach you to leave earlier, to prepare better, and they're going to advocate for you. And they're going to go out there with you. They're going to actually invest their time, their money, and their interest in you as a person. And that person being an advocate for you is incredibly important. Number six is objectivity. When they say when you're so close to the forest, you can't see the trees. It's true. When I was wandering through the woods, I was so focused on not being eaten by a bear that I couldn't even focus on where I was actually going and what was the right direction. I just wanted to survive and make it through the night. And so what a mentor and a guide is going to help you to is get objectivity of the situation. They're going to be able to assess the surroundings, assess your situation and give you the best possible advice to have the best possible outcome, right? That's what you want. You want to make it out of the woods, out of the dark and into the light and get past your, your plateau or break through the areas that you feel like you're stuck. They're going to help you break through that. And that's what you need objectivity for. And number seven, and the most important is love. These guys are just going to be, or gals are going to just be a friend. And that's what I needed in the middle of the night. I needed somebody that was experienced, that knew the area, that knew the terrain, that knew the dangers, that knew the direction that could help me through it and to just be there with me. So I didn't feel like I was alone with all my crazy cousins who were, had this wild idea to begin with. You need somebody that's going to love you. That's going to be there for you. That's going to be a friend. And that's just going to make you feel like you're not alone. And so a good mentor is going to love you, be there for you and make you feel like you're not alone. And so that is an important part of having a mentor. The right mentor isn't just going to be there to criticize you and to tell you what you're doing wrong. They're going to tell you what you're doing right. They're going to help you along the journey. They're going to not make you feel alone. And so if you need a mentor, if you need help, please reach out to me. That is what my mission is. That's what my purpose in life is, is to mentor as many people as possible. And that's why I need you guys to share this video and like this video and comment and introduce yourself because I have a program called Meek Mentors. You can go to meekmentors.com and I want to help you along your journey, no matter what phase you're in. If you're at the very beginning and you just need some assistance and some guidance, I want to be there for you. And if I'm not the right person for you, I can connect you with other people who are, and that's part of a great mentor as well as they have connections and a network of people that they can connect with you as well. So if my mentor wasn't willing to go out with me in the woods or my guide, then they know somebody that's an expert and that can go out there and help you through the woods. Thank you guys so much for tuning into this video with me today. I really appreciate you. Please don't forget to hit the like button and hit subscribe, share this with a friend or somebody you care about. As always, keep looking up.